three, two, one. Oh my God, that's cold. Wow. Welcome back to You Betcha Radio Podcast, coldest podcast in all the Midwest. I'm Ozzy, You Betcha Guy, here with Ryan, the t shirt guy. We are live. We are presented yep. by Ice Mountain, and we don't have Tyler today. He gone. gone. Sick again. Puke Smagoo. Really? Is that? That's what he told me. I don't he know. Well, he didn't send out a company wide text, so I had no idea he was sick. So that's his fault. Well, he texted me. So that was. Funny. No, I know, but we need company wide. You should have been a dicker like you got to show me proof. Yeah. <laughs> Through text. I mean, I've thought about doing that before. Like, because I, I get this feeling that I'm not sick very. I don't miss work very often. But I when I'm sick, I get the feeling that someone doesn't believe me. So like maybe like a like a from <laughs> up top selfie of me like scrunched down no, by got, the toilet. No, I wouldn't believe that because then it's you're definitely faking. <laughs> I would need your wife to have like an around the corner of the room okay. video of you just in shambles. What? Or I could just like try. I could tripod it too. I could try. <laughs> and I could set it up. Yeah. <laughs> like you're doing a TikTok. <laughs> yeah. And I would knew I need it coming out of both ends. So I need you on the toilet with holding a garbage can is what I would need. <laughs> We're almost coming up on the year anniversary of when it came out one end and no, it wasn't the top end. That is probably the worst sickness of all time. When you're just you're was, spraying out when of your ass. I don't when was this a like notable thing? This was Easter of last year. I I don't think it's I, I don't think you need details on it, yeah. but I don't remember <laughs> this. Well, so no, to it's, say it's, the anniversary, like we're going to be like, oh yeah, oh, yeah. shit storm of 2023. It was, yeah, it was over Easter weekend. That's, I didn't miss work though, you know, that's, I only get sick on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be like a curse. I, I'm cursed. I only get sick when I don't have to work. <laughs> that would suck. Yeah. I, I, again, I, it's I like being on vacation and getting sick. The worst. You guys ever fake sick when you're younger? Mm-hmm. Did you? Oh yeah. Not really. Like out of school. To get out of school, you did. So, what would you do? Just say I'm not feeling good. Like you, it was a headache. Was it like nausea? Were you mm, shitting your brains out? It was mostly nausea. I did. Mm, yeah. Nice. Huh. I you know I always thought about like the Campbell's chunky soup that bit and yeah I could never I could never build up the courage to actually do that. <laughs> so, Jared, we're talking about shopping malls today and how we would save them, right? Correct. How we would save shopping malls. Mm. Now, before we get into that, I feel like the only good excuse to go to a shopping mall today is either going to the phone store like Verizon or AT&T or going and getting a suit. <laughs> right. Like I feel like phone stores and suit stores are the only things keeping malls going <laughs> because now in the mall in Fargo. Like Best Buy is in there, right? Mm -hmm. But now you don't even have to go into the mall. It's just as if Best Buy was its standalone store because you can reach it from the outside. They got drive up all that. What are what are people going to the mall for anymore? What else other than those? I mean, if a mall does have a solid a solid food court, that's a good reason. What mall ever has had a solid food court? <laughs> I mean, the mall in town here has got solid food court. I mean, it's just Dairy Queen, Cajun Cafe, uh, Chinese <laughs> food, and McDonald's. What? What do you? What? I uh, uh, Rising Bread Co. That place is good. Can't get any of those outside the mall. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. But again, I wouldn't go out of my way, right, to go to Rising Bread Co. In the when mall. When was the last time you were at the mall that wasn't for your phone or or a suit? <laughs> well, I was gonna say and Santa Claus. I was gonna say Chili's. But that was pre-suit. That was but the went, same time. But you went to Chili's. You didn't go to the mall. I know it's connected, Chili's, but, but it's not the same. Well, we went to Chili's, and then we went and got our suits for the way. Yeah. Oh, okay. And Chili's <laughs> is in the mall. So that doesn't gotcha. even count. Yeah. That's um, where business gets done. I did go to the card shop. I did go to the okay. card shop uh, <laughs> last summer. So okay. uh, give me six months ago. Okay. <laughs> Jared, what about you? You ever going to the mall? Only if I have like a gift card. That's the only time I do go to the mall. God, I'd be so pissed if someone gave me a mall gift card for my birthday. <laughs> that's like that's almost store. like a yeah, that's like a punch in the stomach. Mm -hmm. Like I'm gonna make you walk into the mall to use this gift card. It's probably like in the middle of the store, like on the other end. Yeah, it kind of is. But it's like here's a card for an errand to run later. Mm -hmm. That's kind of how you feel. 
<laughs> Pretty much. Not yeah. I have to go to the mall. It's like you have to like you have to get yourself hyped up to like, okay, fuck, I gotta go to the mall. I have to use this gift card. Right. You know. Exactly. So that's about it. Only like gift cards and yeah, that's all I can think of. I don't go there to the food court. Yeah, I feel like the only people that are going are people for phones or suits or teenagers just to do something to not be at home with their friends. <laughs> yeah, get chicks. Like I feel like it's just teenagers walking around going to Hot Topic, Hollister, and... Harass the security guard. And Yeah. <laughs> and to f- mess around on one of those pianos that are always sitting out there. They just start playing it really bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I always wanted to get hop in one of those uh those aqua massages. You guys mm. remember those? I did one once. Was it nice? It was it was so underwhelming. Okay. Okay. You I, know, like you think you're gonna have a euphoric experience in one of those the way that they advertise it, but yeah. it is just so mediocre. I'd much rather take a regular massage. Okay. <laughs> It'd be just like if someone Took a pressure washer (laughs) and then you got covered in like a a neoprene sleeve and then someone from like five feet away just pressure washed your body. Good to know. Like it kind of feels good. Good to know. I I, I think I I begged my parents on them for for probably like three, four years straight to get aqua massage. Never did. (laughs) Never did. I think when, when I did it, it was my mom was on a spree and me and my brothers and my dad were chilling and (laughs) it was like. I think we were probably annoying him. Thought I'd maybe buy him some time. <laughs> yeah, here's twenty bucks. Go get a go get a ten minute aqua massage yep. for five minutes or whatever. Yeah, yeah. overpriced. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, for sure. Mm-hmm. It'll seem very relaxing. I mean, I got a good idea on how to save shopping malls. You do. Uh, whether it's in the cards, I don't. I don't know. It's gonna be very expensive, but I feel like one way to save shopping malls is to get your kids in there. If your kids keep begging you to go to the shopping mall because there's something there, odds are you're probably going to go a few more times. I think having a water park in a shopping mall would be electric. Well, it's like malls are big. You could have multiple parks. You have Correct. a water park section. You have a trampoline park mm, section. That would be sick. You got just a normal play area with equipment. You know, here in Fargo or the northern Midwest in the wintertime, you can't go to the playground go to the mall gotcha That'd also a good one uh having a movie theater in the mall <laughs> would be great because when your wife is off shopping she's you know she's she's racking up the bill you can just go and watch a movie. that is a good point <laughs> i would enjoy that because i mean then number one when you're waiting for your wife you want to get comfortable and sitting in like the center aisle seats like sometimes you're just like okay i need to move over to in front of fucking gnc over there i need to do some people watching <laughs> let me see who's taking steroids and who's not <laughs> Um, but if you could just go watch a movie, it, it'd be a great excuse to go to the movie theater and also find something to do while your wife is shopping. Well, and speaking of kids, right? Why don't they bring Santa around more? Why doesn't yeah. he there? Why isn't he there more times a year? Right. And it might keep kids in line. Right. So they Literally. usually go around Christmas time, throw them out there in June. And then, <laughs> and then, you know, you bring them there and. You just say like, oh, Santa's really backed up. He needs to know your order sooner. <laughs> <laughs> I think people would go see Santa in yeah. June. Well, you got AC in the mall, too. He ain't going to overheat in that suit. <laughs> right. I, I, that wasn't a concern of mine. It was like a big concern. Like, I mean, whatsoever, it, right? But Santa in June could, uh, could heat stroke. Mm-hmm. If a kid saw Santa get heat stroke and die, I mean, it could scar him for a while. But, but who says why? Like, why can't Santa just wear like shorts and a t-shirt? He's I mean, that is true. That is Summer true. Santa, yeah. we can call him. Exactly. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's all fairy tale. We don't know. Exactly. We do whatever we want. But yeah, I think that maybe bringing him out more times a year could bring in the kids more. Therefore, the parents, therefore, more money pumping through those. It's things. like the mall managers, like. God damn it. Sales are real low. I got to bring out Santa again. Yeah. It's like that flex seal <laughs> meme where he's slapping the flex seal on yeah. the water hole. It's like uh, mall general managers when sales are down. <laughs> Santa. Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a good move. Another thing I think that could save shopping malls is there's actually, a, you know, you have kids that go. There's also seniors that go okay. like uh, old people. They go and they just walk the mall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So 
just paint a walking track on the floor of the mall and actually encourage people to just come and walk. I like that. So kind of like a, a walking track throughout the whole entire mall. Yeah. And, and then would, you could even have like a, you could have a video leaderboard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like uh, spread throughout the mall on TVs, like fucking Jimbo over here has walked 28 <laughs> laps a day. But then, he's about to lap Karen for the fifth time, <laughs> you know? But then think about it while they're doing their walk. You, it's like a marathon where people are standing on the side. GNC could be handing out little samples. creatine samples yeah. to the old folk. <laughs> BCAAs. <laughs> yeah. That's, I mean, that's not a bad idea either. You know, you could have someone outside of Victoria's Secret handing out uh, perfume, perfume samples. samples. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, you'd have little markers. You could even make it like a collect stuff and you win a little medal or something like that. Mm -hmm. like could that. be a good a like, mall marathon. Yeah. And then, like, have like the food cart handout samples. That's a layup, too. Yeah. And then, I mean, you, of course, with the old folks, you'd have to have a walking path. And then kind of like in the airports, they have the walking and the standing sign. Mm -hmm. You could have a scooter and a walking path, like two different <laughs> lanes, you know, like bike lane, regular yeah. lane. Speed lane. Yeah. Well, that's where my head went. Like the the walking lanes in the mall are large. Why can't we like why can't we be racing like motocross and shit in there? Like let's get let's oh, get you want to do like events. Yeah, like 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 an F1 event that comes to a city. Like <laughs> let's get the BMX bikes or mm. like the razor scooters out. Imagine a ra razor scooter race throughout the mall and everything's taped <laughs> off and that would be I would maybe be on board with a razor scooter race. Mm -hmm. That'd be sick. Because it's so amateur that it would be a mess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Someone's shin would get cracked. Yeah. By a razor scooter. I think they just got to be doing more events. They got a bunch of space. Do a cornhole event. Yeah. You could do a darts event. Lawnmower racing you could do. You could. Half a lot marathons. of fumes inside. That's where <laughs> kind of the motocross thing you put a hole in that. Lots of fumes. We'll go BMX instead. Yeah. We'll open a window or two. <laughs> so you could do Wheelbarrow that. races. You and a buddy. Tough mutter. I mean, also, like, you could do a beer mile, too, right? It's like you, you and your buddy, you, you could <laughs> tag team a beer mile. <laughs> so messy. Because, like, fun drinking events is what people want to go to, I feel like. Yeah. Do it. Have every store in the mall have little samples of beer, and then you just got to go. You get free samples. You just got to go get a punch card on each one like they do a <laughs> pub crawl. Yeah. Yeah. You slip them a little 15% off coupon when they're, when they're done with the beer mile, like head on over to Foot Locker. And who likes mm -hmm. buying more dumb shit than drunk people? Exactly. Yeah, so I think they got to start. Yeah. Actually, I think more booze is the answer to save shopping malls. Yeah. Go there to drink, and then you go and buy dumb shit. Yeah, because like those little key, like those little kiosks in the middle, they're they're great and everything. But let's <laughs> they're fantastic. No, they're not. They're not. They're, they're well, the worse. They're, they they're, are, they're but objectively I, I, well, not. No, and 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 I'm on board with that. I was just get. I was. Just, I know. Yeah, I know okay. I know, yeah. Um, but even like like airports will have like little like floating bars in the middle of of terminal one yeah, or whatever i love buying dumb shit at the airport after a couple <laughs> beers at chili's Same. two chili's two I'll, i mean i'll Same. buy a i'll buy a 38 dollar fucking magazine people's magazine whatever buy a 40 dollar <laughs> phone charger yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah i'll buy a 650 dollar pair of skull skull candy headphones because i forgot mine now <laughs> another event people. wise this maybe could just be a regular thing but like they need to pick a day of the week and Make it so, let me back up. A huge thing right now is drive up slash pickup, right? Like Target's got now a whole side of the store. You just drive through, they bring it out to you. Yep. What you need to be doing is you need to open up the garage doors on the mall and let people drive their cars through the mall. Fumes. So they don't got to get out. Fumes. Yeah, yeah, we'll, that one. We'll, ven we'll ventilate <laughs> it. Yeah, we'll get HVAC going. Okay, well, I'm back on the BM. But or, then they uh, can literally, you know, <laughs> like you combine a bunch of stuff. So you got the, the drive pickup. You stop at a store. You love it. You say like, hey, bring me a pair of sweatpants. And then you give them the money and they give them right to your car and you keep them scooting. Yeah. But think about in the wintertime in the Midwest, people love going and driving around looking at Christmas lights. 
all they're doing is window shopping. <laughs> yeah. So you drive your car and you just window shop in your car. <laughs> so, so it's just like you drive by, you're like, fuck, those sketchers look great. <laughs> fuck, babe, that bra is sexy. <laughs> You just stop right in the middle. The traffic get around you. Yeah, you just yeah. drive your car. <laughs> yeah. It's always a traffic jam by Victoria's Secret. Yeah, yeah, you just yeah, you drive your car right into Victoria's Secret. <laughs> it, it's giving me like uh, school pickup line vibes. Yes, yeah, exactly right. Which can be, I mean, it can be that, very controversial. And then the food courts just got people on roller skates going and taking your order and bringing like it right to your car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bring the drive through inside is what I'm suggesting. I mean, it's just it's just making the drive through industry better. I feel like it's it's a better experience. Yeah, one flaw might be like dirty vehicles. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, this well, is this is a brainstorm session, guys. This is not anything concrete. Here's what you could do: a lot of car washes these days. Oh my god! Dude. Right away, yeah. You right get onto the track, you throw her in neutral, and you're window shopping. Mm-hmm. You can maybe like uh, maybe the track, the, the track hangs a right over here and, and this is the exit or you can keep going through the next section. That is very OK. That, no. Well, here's the thing. You have a car wash that takes you all the way through the mall. You window shop while you're doing that. And then when you're done, you go and shop at those stores. Mm. And it gives you a car wash before you go in. So you don't get things dirty, Jared. That's smart. Well, I'm saying you'd make an enclosed thing and make the whole thing a car wash. Oh, I'm on board with that. Yeah, I mean, get rid of all the kiosks in the middle. Okay, we don't need them. <laughs> we don't need them. Just in terms of length, we could be looking at like maybe like a four hundred and fifty dollar car wash <laughs> <laughs> if it went through the whole mall. Well, car washes, you know, the expensive part is the equipment. The soaps and stuff are easy. You just keep spraying foam on them. <laughs> People think their car is getting cleaner. You know, foam yeah. doesn't cost that much. Yeah. Well, then it, I mean, shit, then it might turn into like a foam party. Hey, you could do that. Could. Yeah. <laughs> could be a good way to get college students in there. <laughs> good way to pass. Everything's a foam party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the track is not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. I like it. I mean, you're, you wouldn't be going fast enough to where like, like an employee could just run your like run an order out while you're still going too. yeah, it could be like one or two miles per hour. Yeah, to be quick in a more real sense. They should just build apartments on top of the shopping mall. That's what I was going to say. It's not a bad idea. Like they, that's what they need to do. Yeah. We already have apartment buildings with storefront underneath and it's just outside. Why not just make there be an interior area? Yeah, multi-use building. Do any malls have apartment buildings? Just hotels. That's all I know of. Why? Mm, zoning. I mean, like the foods, like if you, you could, the food options. Yeah. It would actually be very nice be if awesome. you lived in an apartment. Yeah, it'd be sick. A parking is what the nightmare is, I think, maybe. <laughs> you have to go like through the mall out to your through the food cart like out to your car you mean you could yeah we <laughs> they could have like i mean they could have little doors too like in the middle of like uh business like in the middle of businesses on a, a main street like there's little apartment doors that yeah. you key card yeah, or whatever just be funny if, like it's right in the middle <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah i mean it, imagine if you door dash from the food court to your apartment. <laughs> that would be insane that'd be i mean it'd be a it, it's a great concept though mm -hmm. you got food you, you i'm there's probably going to be booze and beverages somewhere. We have some sort of little bar. Yeah. You get damn near every store you want. <laughs> Don't have to go outside. Quite literally, no. <laughs> Underground parking. Take the elevator up to the uh, apartment floors. Boom. Yeah. I think another thing in the Midwest that could be big is just replace where Santa's at usually. The giant pond and stock it and let people fish. Mm. Fishing indoors. I like that. Just I like that better fish. than the... Uh, uh, then like the, the coin, uh, make a wish fountain or like the coin fountain, but fish in it. Exactly. <laughs> that yeah. would get people going. I like that one. Um, I think like if there's like, 
it's kind of going back to the apartment thing, but like a vacant store, you should just be able to move in there and have your apartment like right on the main floor. Yeah, just buy a storefront. <laughs> that was your sick, house, actually. <laughs> right by like Spencer Gifts or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just no windows in it at all. <laughs> that would be sweet. Spencer's just blasting music until 10 p.m. or whenever they close, 9 right. p.m. <laughs> Probably dirt cheap. <laughs> Yeah, you could easily buy a storefront for way cheaper than a house these days. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Right. You could advertise something like a side hustle business or something. Yeah. If they, okay, back to the events. If if a mall held an event that was like a, like you shut all the lights off and you have a massive game of laser tag in the mall. Okay, that would be I sick. Like that. And like, like you can shut all the storefronts down, but you're using like the furniture and like the tables and the food court and the mm-hmm. fucking like the, the kids playground, whatever. That would be unbelievable. That actually. would be very fun. <laughs> it's almost like teams of 12 or something. I mean, there's a reason why on Call of Duties they have mall maps. Boom. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, Boom. it's very set up for that. Yeah. You can have walkie talkies with your buddy. Be like, I saw Ryan going by Claire's. Yeah. Beeline it to Claire's. <laughs> and then you shoot pew, pew, pew. And you're like, oh, wow, they have two for one earring deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or you know, like, uh, what are the little race cars called? You have like a uh, RC car? Yeah. You, well, the ones in Call of Duty. Send one of those oh, babies yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's smart. Glitter bomb inside. Yeah. I ain't cleaning it up though. No, God, no. That's uh, the the mall employees would do that. <laughs> Not for me. And then the mall just uh, has having uh, having trouble hiring people because they have fucking glitter all over. <laughs> and not even want to clean it up. <laughs> Got laser tag again this weekend. <laughs> yeah, fuck. I quit. I'm not giving you a two weeks. <laughs> oh, that would be sweet. <laughs> Also, you have to set up the Santa display of sales. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's August, but we got to get him back. Summer Santa's coming. <laughs> Santa like shaved his beard for the summer because it gets hot. Like, grow that fucker out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Every time employees walk into the mall and they see Santa, they think they're going to get fired. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, from a male perspective, I would also have, I'd like to have like, um, uh, like a, uh, kind of like a glorified chipping and putting like store that like, uh, or area in there. Just like a just, big ass just area. Just a big putting Mi- miniature golf would be nice. Yeah. Miniature golf or yeah, you could have like, I mean, like you've seen like the facilities where you chip and putt out of the sand. Yeah. Shit, like, yeah, it'd be, be great. Mm-hmm. Anything where I, I can stay busy while. The wife is off doing something. But else. the thing is, is what I don't know if 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 there's any stores left in shopping malls that Anne's gonna be like, yeah, I gotta go check those out. That's, That's a good true. point. Yeah, it's good because point. they're not getting any foot traffic anymore. So you bring the foot traffic, then the more stores, good stores come. Right. That's a good point. Build it, and they will come. Mm-hmm. I think a golf simulator is probably like a kiosk idea would be good too. Again, it's a foot. Tra- I mean, there's ten of them in Fargo now. That's true. It's foot- but, yeah. but it's also like you have one simulator. No one's gonna be like, "All right, I'm gonna go to the mall and play in the sim." <laughs> and then they take a number and they're in line for six hours waiting for the beta. <laughs> like the yeah, but then they just get shit faced at the bar. <laughs> and spend uh, two hundred bucks. You know? The thing is, you would just go to Sweet Shots or Top Golf. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's spitball here. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> It's like, what are people, because people are buying shit online. Hey, let's pretend we're on the mall committee. Okay. Okay. I'm the GM. Ryan's head of janitorial services. (laughs) And Jared is chief marketing officer. Oh, I like that. I don't know why we have such a hodgepodge (laughs) of of titles in this hierarchy. All hands on deck meeting. GM, head of janitorial services, CMO. (laughs) And we're like, guys, hey, let's throw our hand up. Say they got us. You know, (laughs) the Internet's kicking our ass. Mm -hmm. What are people going out to do these days? What are they going out to do? Say drinking. Drinking. Boom. We need four bars. Mm -hmm. What else? What are people going out and doing? Groceries. We need a grocery store. But make it make turn it. Don't let them come in from the outside. Make them walk through the mall. <laughs> Get foot traffic going. 
Yeah. It's like, I just don't know. Kids activities. Yeah, we, but the other stuff that we said. Yeah. Okay, I thought we were yeah. still on our meeting. <laughs> I thought the meeting was still going. <laughs> no, we are. But we already discussed those. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's it's tough. Yeah. Do you think the store selection in malls is, like, is a subpar? Like, do you think if they had better stores? Well, they can't get better stores because better stores are smart. And they wouldn't put it in a mall because there's not enough foot traffic. Because mm-hmm. people aren't going to malls anymore. It's kind of a... Uh, double-edged sword. I mean, there may, there, there may be some incentives in there. They need better it. stores to get better foot traffic, but they can't get more foot traffic. They can't get better stores without more foot traffic. <laughs> stores don't want to go there because it's not a foot traffic. <laughs> it's like, it's just the worst situation ever. Yeah. I mean, the mall, let's say the mall buys Foot Locker in the mall. It's like, everyone, we need foot traffic and you're going to need a good pair of shoes for it. Free what? pair of Foot Locker shoes. <laughs> First 500 through the door. Yeah, just mall just got to start giving shit away. <laughs> everyone gets an iPad at Best Buy. Come on in. No, everyone gets a, uh, a free sample of orange chicken from Cajun Cafe. <laughs> and we'll be right at the door. You don't have to even have to come to the food court. Everyone gets one shot of an orange Julius. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone gets a free pretzel bite with uh But that's what they got they got to they got to organize that on one day like sample day and everyone all the stores give away free shit get them in the door. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah, that, I mean that's that's not a bad idea. You got f- fucking pre-workout shots in front of GNC. You got you got free <laughs> so ser- now, steroid injections. So now not only do they have no foot traffic, they have shitty stores and now they have to pay to give stuff away for free. <laughs> Spend money make money. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> That is true. Free steroids. <laughs> is that what he said? <laughs> Free steroid injections in the ass if you want it. Tattoo parlor might be good to put in there. Mm-hmm. I feel like people love going to get tattoos and a lot of people buying tattoos online. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you just got to litter it with shit you can't do online. Yeah. You know? <sighs> Tattoos, golfing, Santa. Tra- <laughs> Trampolines. Trampoline. Please. Like it's just just make it into a thing. It's just a facility of stuff you can't do online. Or what about a trampoline park inside a movie theater? So you're bouncing up and down while the movie's on. That would be kind of fun. Mm-hmm. Just just the squeakiness of all the coils <laughs> during like an intense moment in it like in the movie Oppenheimer, whenever it's like the climax, you just hear like quicker, quicker, quicker. <laughs> when it's like, yeah, it's like white noise, like very faint white noise before the bomb goes off. Yeah. It just, <laughs> yeah. And you're getting excited, so you're jumping higher. <laughs> yeah. There's so many double jumps going on and people breaking legs and shit because they're, so cause they're not paying attention to the movie. They're not paying attention to the trampoline because they're watching the movie and people are just <laughs> buckling their knees left and right. What about like a, I mean, what about a roller coaster going throughout the entire mall? Or like the Fremont Street experience, Jarrett. Yeah. You have like, a, what is it, the um, zip lining? Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, there you go. Could zip line. Mm-hmm. I mean, let's just bring an amusement park into the in, into the mall. Yeah, I mean, but technically, amusement park is just the mall with all the little shops that they have that you can buy. That's true. It's you not- walk around, you play the little games, you buy the little memorabilia. Mm-hmm. Be a great place to go in the winter time. Yeah, you overpay for stuff. I mean, yeah. that's essentially what the Mall of America is. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, someone's already done that. <laughs> Fuck. Just been a pretty successful universe. forum, though I'd say. And they have a movie theater. And they have a movie theater. <laughs> they gotta have a workout facility for the walking path. Probably, they have everything. Yeah, I would say more malls to just do it like Mall of America has. <laughs> just build yeah. the biggest mall. In the yeah, country. you well, you could just name it by state too, like Mall of North Dakota. Mm-hmm. And then it's a tourist attraction. <laughs> 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 They're that, fucked. The malls are <laughs> fucked. Yeah. Mall of America. <laughs> Unless they got cash to dish out and start making some of these uh improvements. They're fucked. Mm-hmm. Maybe they should get tied in with the mob and then you just 
you know, launder the money. You could launder all. money through it. Yeah. That might be an option. I mean, maybe that's the only way the malls are still in existence. Could be. Maybe they're already doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Mall of America probably is. They're way ahead of us. They've had a fucking amusement park in there and trampolines and shit for how long? Yeah, fucking Dick's Last Resort. You guys ever eaten there? No. no. De- decent spot. I also think malls need to start figuring out a way to book Hooters as a mm. lot of foot traffic through Hooter- Hooters. You, I suppose a <laughs> lot of eye traffic, too. Good window eye- shopping. <laughs> uh, although that is something you can do online. So that maybe isn't a good move. Placement. I mean, yeah, put you could put like a like a glasses or like an optometrist right next to Hooters. Get the eyes checked. Make sure you can see when you go in there. You don't want to be going in there all blurry. No, you go over there and you and get bu- some of those. Blurry-eyed, bushy-tailed. <laughs> you get your eyes dilated and you got one of those big glasses that go on the side. You wear, you wear those into Hooters. Well, they can, then they can't see like directly where you're looking. Yeah, they, you know? they can't see where your eyes are. They can't say, hey, my eyes are up here. Because they can't even see yours, and you have a great excuse. You're like, I was next door at fucking uh, Pearl Vision. Or <laughs> yeah, uh, it's yeah, it's all it's, a, it's about it's about clustering the right businesses together. I mean, and then you can have like, yeah, you you can, yeah, yeah, you could buy a Hooters outfit for your wife next door to the Pearl Vision. You're like, wow, I really like your outfit. I'm going to go buy my wife. Yeah, costume store (laughs) next to Hooters. Yeah. And then Hooters does costume nights, which then helps sell more costumes. Boom. Brings more people into Hooters, therefore more people into the vision place. Yep. And then they're like free eye exams, too. (laughs) Yeah, just do them at Hooters. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, like uh, sometimes you got like KFC and Taco Bell in one (laughs) thing. Combo, yeah. Just do, just c- combine Hooters with all the rest of the things. <laughs> all right, just read her chest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. How many fingers am I holding? <laughs> no, you How just you take, the, you take that. You take, dude. <laughs> eye doctors need to partner with Hooters and make the official uniform. The sh- the tank tops have the eye exam letters on the shirt. True. And then naturally they're going to start at the top, be way bigger. And then it gets smaller as it goes down. Not a bad idea. You have guys sitting there for like over an hour. (laughs) I don't know. my. I I don't think you're right. I think they're bad. I'm going to test it again. (laughs) One or two. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, that's not a bad idea. I mean, there's plenty of places that could partner with Hooters. (laughs) Hooters could just be the entire mall. (laughs) The biggest Hooters ever. Yeah. There we go. The Mall of America. Why do people still go there? It's the biggest mall in the United States. The biggest Hooters Imagine in the United States. Imagine if it States. was just Hooters with an amusement park in it. And then all the people selling stuff at the stores are just Hooters waitresses. That would actually bring in a lot of guys. A lot of foot traffic. A lot of foot traffic. Now, I'm not saying that's right, but it's probably what would happen. I mean, I think Let's it's probably go there. No, I, <laughs> no, I, I haven't stepped unless I have a phone issue, which seems like I do every other week. <laughs> yeah, unless my eyes are blurry. <laughs> You're buying another suit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think I lost a little weight, and you need you to measure me again. <laughs> Yeah, I just ran out of protein. <laughs> yeah. Honey, you just bought a you just bought a 30 day supply yesterday. Oh, she I catches know, you I, like dumping it in a, <laughs> in a flower pot or something. Yeah, I gotta head over to the GNC. Uh they say uh, t- uh ten times your body weight in grams of protein. <laughs> I thought it was five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's ways, there's ways around it. Santa comes around, you got Santa, and then the Hooters girls are the elves. Yeah. Well, J- John Daly is Santa at that point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's sponsored by Hooters, ain't he? Oh, yeah. So is his kid. It's foolproof. You could have an owl like sanctuary in there as well. Right yeah, next to Hooters. You could have a water park in there. Okay. <laughs> Wendy Peppercorn vibes. Yeah, just a pool. Well, that's what they where they could hold the the calendar contest. How about a swim up bar? It would be kind of fun. There you go. Swim up bar would be sweet. It'd be dangerous. Like a glass ceiling, you can look out and see the clouds, and the sun. 
<laughs> yeah. Like, but in a real sense, put like doctor's offices and stuff in malls. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I got to go to the doctor. Then I see all the other stuff. Right. And like a pharmacy too. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. You just, yeah. You just have to talk the doc into moving over. <laughs> got to get in cahoots with all the docs. <laughs> yeah. Right by the hot topic. Why don't they just put hospitals on top of shopping malls? There we go. You have a kid. You're in there for three days. Yeah. Head on down. Hooters. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all paths lead to Hooters. <laughs> if you guys haven't haven't figured that out yet, the common denominator. Yeah. <laughs> Quite literally. I mean, yeah, yeah. We won't even. Yeah. Yep. Patreon. <laughs> Patreon. Patreon. Um, so that's how we're saving shopping malls. We're just making them all Hooters. Well, it's not just one big Hooters. With, with <laughs> yeah, stores inside. Well, yeah. starting with just putting one in there. Because I got rid of the one here in town <laughs> 10 years ago. Tragic. We got the biggest Hooters. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Selling point. It writes itself. <laughs> I mean, what, what, for, you know, 14 year old kid, there's already a, the 14 year old, 16 year old kid population in the mall is going to skyrocket. I'm just going to go hang out with some friends, mom. You catch them bellied up to a booth at Hooters for four hours. They order just f- sucking down. <laughs> yeah. 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 They ordered like two plates of the 50 wing combo deal or whatever. <laughs> Fucking uh, stacks of fries on top of it. Sounds kind of fun. It does. It doesn't seem to sound that bad for an adult. No matter how this goes down, you guys want to go to the mall. <laughs> Foot us. traffic. Yeah. You got two feet right here that'll that'll be there. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Did we just save shopping malls? I think we did. Quite potentially. I think we're on the path. You can kind of combine a lot of those ideas into one. Maybe the driving the cars through it is we can maybe mark that one up as not a very good idea. We we got you know we got to where we needed. Yeah, we, we just love walking. We, yeah, it's a, destination. my bad idea led to a good idea. Correct. Exactly. Santa though, we need more Santa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah get the easter bunny in there get uh uh they do that Pat- i think already uh get like patrick the irish man in there <laughs> yeah, just get like a big pumpkin uncle sam for like fourth of july there we go Ta- yeah, and, and go tax get your day photo take just get photo taken with everything tax day too <laughs> <laughs> uncle sam <laughs> go, go get a photo with uncle sam on tax day <laughs> And then you get a sticker that doesn't say I voted. It says I paid my taxes. <laughs> on things, I got a refund. Yeah. On Thanksgiving, go get your photo taken with a huge turkey. Yeah. Yep. Huge turkey. Kids love mascots. Just make mascots. Mm-hmm. Then you have like comic book day and we get like people there that are the Avengers or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's ways around it. Disney day. Maybe like winter solstice day. You know, yeah, just have a big snowman, big sun. <laughs> yeah, we'll workshop it still, but I think we're on the right track. Mm-hmm. Daylight savings, just a big clock. There's plenty. <laughs> 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 no, just a just a punching bag with Benjamin Franklin's face on it because people hate daylight savings so much. And you just you pay a buck, you get ten licks at them. I'd go for that. That or they have the dunk tank where you can throw like throw the softball at it. Yeah, a guy dressed like as Ben Frank. Yeah. That's maybe <laughs> is that you know, like they have the aggression rooms. Yeah, the rage room, yeah. The rage rooms. Someone should just do a like a punching bag facility and you just pay X amount of money and they will put whatever face that you want on the punching bag and you for like an hour you can just go punch the shit out of the punching bag. And drink beer. <laughs> and for five hundred dollars an hour, they'll they'll they will go and retrieve that person for you. <laughs> just, a cage, just a cage man. <laughs> Tie their hands behind their back and you sign up for an hour. Right. Or kidnap special. <laughs> <laughs> that's where the whole mob comes into play. And how that's... much money would you so like let's say Ryan wanted to beat the shit out of you, Jared? Mm-hmm. What, what what amount of money would you let him just wail on you for an hour? <laughs> for God. an hour? I think he, I think you yeah, I remember he's gonna tire out, so it's not gonna be a full hour of punches. I'd probably do probably a hundred thousand dollars. 
Would you do it for 50? No. Uh, Cause like I think 75 would have, might be my lowest. Yeah, I think, I mean, someone could die. After <laughs> no, there'd be a maybe. ref. There'd be a ref. <laughs> the fucking hurt. Yeah, so that's the thing. Like, maybe just get knocked out right away, and then it's like you're only there for three minutes, <laughs> and you get paid 75K. Maybe. Hopefully I have a weak chin. <laughs> just get knocked out right away. Uh, yeah, I, I would get knocked out for 50K. For sure. So <laughs> one way to find out. What's the lowest you'd get knocked out for? Probably five grand. <laughs> <laughs> Probably five Deal. Geez. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna wake back up. Have you ever been knocked out? Never. Mm. I don't know what it feels like. I don't I I don't either. <laughs> I, I I can't assume you really feel much until you wake back up. Right. Yeah, I think it's the aftermath. I don't think it's the knocked out part that hurts. <laughs> yeah. I think I, I don't think I'd want to see it coming either. You'd mm. rather get cold clocked, cocked. Yeah. Cold, what is it? <laughs> cold cocked. Cold co- coal cocked. Cold cocked. Is it cold cl- cock? I think it's cold cock. I don't know if I should Google that. Cold, co- <laughs> cold <laughs> cock. Just, just, uh, just Google cold cock punch. And then. <laughs> I don't know if I would really Google that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you permission. Okay. Cock. Uh, <coughs> cold cock, yeah. Cold cock is all not, one word. Oh yeah, cold cock. I, you, it, that's what we would call it. Be right next to Hooters. Cold cock. You have Hooters and cold <laughs> cock, and then you just pay to cold cock someone. <laughs> that could save them all. <laughs> Take out your aggression. Go to the mall. <laughs> we don't, like I we have rage. Why don't they just like have restaurants where they just it's like it's literally like you have bench seating and then just a, a punching bag in the middle. People would love that. It's kind of like eighth grade dance vibes where you're like everyone's kind of on the outside and then like you get a couple people to go in. Is well, no, you, talk- you, you get a booth, so it's like you and your friends get a punching bag. Oh, it's kind of like sweet shots almost. Okay, yeah. Yeah. okay. And there could be games, you know. It's like how many punches? Like there'd be a sensor in the thing. Like how many punches in a minute can you do? Yeah, yeah. How yeah. hard can you kick? How hard can you punch? It's like people love those things that where you hit it the the uh, speed uh, bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do it, just make that a restaurant. I mean, the amount of like affliction and American fighter shirts. Uh, <laughs> Hey, you trying I think, to get you trying to go to cold cock tonight? <laughs> I think the usual crowd in there would probably deter a lot of other people from going in. <laughs> but there. you it would be kind of fun to do that one Maybe time. Maybe one time, yeah. But again, we're looking for consistent foot traffic. Yeah. And then you have like the you like show UFC fights, like a big fight. Dude, people would love to watch a UFC <laughs> fight with like- a punching bag there. <laughs> Fuck yeah. It would I think it's actually a pretty good idea. They were charging. There was a bar this last weekend charging sixty dollar covers to get in and watch the fights. Damn. Even if you just charge ten. Yeah, cold cock would charge fifty nine dollars. True. <laughs> Undercut them. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about undercutting. <laughs> undercutting and uppercutting. Yeah. We call it uppercuts. <laughs> you call it uppercuts. Yeah. And you have a, a barber. Shop well, that would the be back. the package. Would be the uppercut package yeah you get a you, like you you can go in and get a haircut and then you can sit down and fucking wail on a well and bag. cold cocks would only sell chicken yeah oh yeah yeah and i'll be like oh i get it yeah <laughs> just thinking too hard they were <laughs> kind of like texas roadhouse vibes where you walk in it's all just like displayed right in front of you too but it's big cooler but it's it's like it's cooked chicken but they just it's in a fridge and you can only get cold sandwiches because it's cold cock i mean cold chicken cold turkey is solid yeah, and the way to get a burger, you have to say who you, who you have beef with, and then you can get your burger. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> with so many puns we can do. Yeah. You want another one, Jared? You get a you get a pulled pork sandwich, and then you just have to tell them who you porked last. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm I'll have I'll do a fruit punch. <laughs> What do you got on tap out? <laughs> For tap you guys out. got any knuckle sandwiches? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, signature I'll, item knuckle I'll sandwich. I'll do one knuckle sandwich. <laughs> 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 Be <laughs> <laughs> a sick menu. <laughs> I got nothing. I'm not too. I don't know. Daylight savings time fucking on my brain. <laughs> oh god. Anyways, we just invented a that. It's a great restaurant. You, it idea. would be fun to go do that. That'd be cool. Like imagine we we're just sitting here, kind of like uh, you know, you go to Top Golf or Sweet Shots. They have like the little like hangout area. Yep. Then you go hit. But there was just a, a bag there instead of a golf thing. I'm on board with it. Y- yeah. You could pay a little bit extra too, like like uh an employee. Like you could like like a trainer. Well, no, it's like can, like can you knock out like can you knock this guy out? So you pay like an extra twenty bucks if you not, if you knock one of the guys out who you <laughs> kinda like rent the guy to come into your space and like it's like you and your three other buddies. <laughs> this <again>. guy's <laughs> only getting paid twenty bucks to get knocked out. Plus tips. Yeah, yeah plus tips. <laughs> you knock him out, and then you take down. another twenty and just put it in his shirt and walk away. Hopefully, he sees that when he wakes up. <laughs> but I mean, he could be world class too. So he could be making you know, like people are gonna want to try it. You can make twenty dollar, twenty dollar, twenty all day, all week. Surge rates on the weekends, 50 bucks. <laughs> Whatever surging price right now. <laughs> I mean, He's you still free, recovering. <laughs> it's like a blazing challenge. You get a free t-shirt if you knock them out. It was, and that, and if you knock the, like, if you, if you knock the stuffing out of a, of a heavy bag, you get to just take it home. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want it anymore. Yeah. You know, it's like, and then you get a shirt that says, I knocked the stuffing out of the heavy bag at cold cock. <laughs> I knocked the stuff out of cold cock. All uh, I got was this lousy. And then you could you could do it <laughs> so dumb. You could do an upcharge instead of you just get a pinata. So it's like a cardboard <laughs> heavy bag that you kick and punch, and then candy falls out. <laughs> or you could pay whatever you could do. Shooter Hooters or wings fall out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And like each booth, you know, is just a ring. Like yeah, you oh just yeah. have the and to get into your booth, you have to like climb through. The through the That'd ropes. be sick. <laughs> it's That'd like, be dope. It would be sick. Yeah, like that would just even be cool to have like a boxing theme restaurant. Yeah, like not that you got to crawl them. through the ropes to get to your seat. Mm-hmm. That'd be cool. Yeah, your own little private area. I like it. I'm on board with that. I, mean, I, I would go for sure. Yeah. Hey, I don't want to say that we just came up with a billion dollar idea, but we just came up with a billion dollar idea. <laughs> we should start a bar. Cold cocked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ryan really likes it. He's loving it. All right. Should we take a break? Sure. Ryan. Yep. You know what shopping malls need? What's that? They need on the walls instead of water phones, they need big <laughs> gerbil water things that you just suck on, you know? Mm-hmm. And <laughs> fill it with ice mountain. <laughs> yeah, well, and when you walk in the shopping mall, everyone gets like a re- little replaceable. Yeah, you get like a little a, like gerbil condom thing you put yeah, on there. Yeah. And then you just you suck reasons. right from the tap. <laughs> Um, be also would be a great sponsor. Like we could put on the, in the, in the ring of our cold cock restaurant. You mm-hmm. just put ice mountain as the sponsor and everyone gets a bottle of ice title, mountain when you title come sponsor. in. Title sponsor. <laughs> be great. You, the, the waiters and waitresses when in their, in their like boxing shorts, what are they called? Are they just shorts? Yeah. Yeah. Trunks. They just have ice mountain littered all over it. They would be the sponsor of the thing. And then everyone get free ice mountain. Keep the guys high. Not a bad idea. No, not, not at all. Not a bad idea. Not at all. Free bottle of ice mountain instead of just like a uh, a twenty year old plastic glass of water with ice. Mm-hmm. I'll take it every day. And then they, yeah. Did you say they can squirt it in your mouth when you're thirsty? <laughs> yeah, well, that was before, but yeah. Upcharge, but upcharge. You can have someone because <laughs> you can have someone rubbing Vaseline on your face. And squirting water in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like that would be the, 
you know how like you eat the like let's say you have a burger but then they like they have like a like when it's dessert time you have to go sit in the corner on a stool and they come and vaseline you up and squirt ice mountain into your mouth to get you ready for the last round which would be yeah each meal is a round so they instead of a course instead of courses yeah. they're rounds <laughs> I'm at, yeah, I'm having a uh, I'm having a I'm having a five round meal main event. <laughs> yeah. That would be that's how you would order too. That'd how many sick. rounds are you going? Mm -hmm. Two, one, three. That'd be sick. Well, and, 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 and then it's all hydrated by ice mountain. Yeah. And they can even have like a bag of ice mountain ice to rub on your head and your back yes. and stuff just yep. to cool the body down, get the yeah, body maybe, back Maybe down. you get the the hottest wings. Then in round three, and then you go sit on the stool, and someone goes and puts ice on the back of your neck. It'd be phenomenal. <laughs> Maybe like bite the corner off when it starts to melt, and just like kind of squirt it down your back. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's very specific, <laughs> but I know what you're talking about. You've obviously done that yeah. before. <laughs> Way back in the day. So, guys, I don't think that there's any other water we would want in cold cock than ice mountain. Ryan, you know what I haven't had in a while. What haven't you had in a while? Eggs inside of a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> like it's been so that long. That does check out. Yeah. It's like, I miss it. I, 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 I used to just, re <laughs> just relentlessly, <laughs> religiously eat my eggs in a wrap. And then I don't know what happened. You know, life gets in the way. You start having a kid. Well, it also probably and, <laughs> it also probably just started getting bland too, and then you're like, yeah, "Why don't I just like, have... it's missing something?" Yeah, but I think the folks over at Holiday did figure out what was missing, which is yep, it's a cheesy veggie square wrap with scrambled eggs, cheese, salsa, onions, green and red peppers wrapped in a flour tortilla. Yeah, that's what it was missing <laughs> was the cheese, peppers, salsa, salsa, eggs. No, egg. the eggs are already in it. Onion. An onion. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Wrapped in a flour. Yep. Tortilla. Tortilla. Yep. And now it's like, how would I have my eggs in a in a tortilla any other way? <laughs> I wouldn't. You wouldn't. No. So, guys, if you're sick of eating scrambled eggs in a wrap by itself, you got to head to Holiday Gas Stations. They got the veggie square wrap. Put one, Put two, three of those in your pocket, pay for them, and head to work. Square wrap too. It fits great in the back pocket, like it a does. wallet. Like a wallet. <laughs> Save it for later. They, we need to rebrand them from square wraps to the wallet wraps. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that would just be a taco. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned. We are full of ideas today. I can't wait to hear what we come up with next. <laughs> All right, Jared. What do you got for us today? Uh, Napoleon bone my parts. Uh, what food should be deep fried more? Um, uh, and I've never had one, but Anne the other day had a chimichanga, <laughs> <laughs> which is just a deep fried like burrito yeah. in it. Yeah. I would love to try a chimichanga. I have never had one. But they sound delicious. She couldn't be a bigger fan. But so I think a lot like taco, like just Mexican food in general. Let's just start deep frying more of it. Nachos would be interesting. Yeah, deep fried nachos, which I think the the, the, the chips, chips are, are deep fried. Deep fried. So it's yeah. kind of so you're, you're looking for a double deep fry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He did say deep fried more. Okay. He didn't say deep, a double deep, deep fried fry. once. Yeah. There's a big difference. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, I'd like to deep fry fries. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a good one. <laughs> Potatoes cut in verticals. I'd like to deep fry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a new rest. That's another restaurant. Double deep, double deep fried, double deeps. <laughs> Something. <laughs> Try that out. <laughs> Going double deep tonight. Uh, deep fried. I think people I, like. Mozzarella sticks are so popular at restaurants. Why why aren't pe more people just buying cheese sticks and deep frying them at home? Oh, like the one that come in like a plastic. Yeah. Cuz you could just you just buy frozen mozzarella sticks and it, it it's going to be the same <laughs> quality, I think. 
probably be better to just buy it for <laughs> really <laughs> probably if you don't know how to well, do it it's gonna be i mean i garbage. would like to try a homemade mozzarella stick yeah if somebody knows yeah if they know i mean deep fry is not that hard if they've seen their way around a mozzi stick before <laughs> then i'd like to try that <laughs> I was going to say I love uh, more deep fried sushi, but they already have deep fried sushi. It's called tempura. Yep. Oh, I didn't know that. You well, know that? Oh, you aren't living, man. <laughs> it's the only sushi animal eat sometimes. <laughs> Which then to me, it doesn't even feel like sushi anymore. No. But it's more like a wonton style. I've, I mean, I feel like every I feel like everything has been deep fried at some point. Well, nobody like, said more. Or- <laughs> when we deep fried more. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean mozzarella sticks. Uh, I mean, I answered the question. <laughs> I fuck no. Well, it wasn't very so good. I Dog actually. Why are you guys just buying for them? <laughs> something that people need to be deep frying more is ice cream. A right. fried ice cream is very, very good. I don't think it's deep fried though, because <laughs> it would melt. No, it, they deep fried somehow. <laughs> yeah, the I don't, fried ice cream. I don't. And please look this up just to make sure I'm not crazy. But I, it's not. Well, regardless if you're deep frying it or just frying it in oil in a pan, it's still getting hot. <laughs> right, but deep it, that it's it's that's a different method with oil in a pan okay, versus okay. A full. F- sorry, we need to be frying ice cream more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got a little crust on it. How do they get the crust on if they're not frying it? Go to all. Oh. Uh, um. Right there. How does deep fried ice cream stay cold? Coating the frozen ball of ice cream with just the right ingredients mm. creates a layer of insulation that pro- that protects the ice cream from fucking melting, Ryan. Yeah. So it's pretty much like the crust is getting deep fried and nothing else. Hmm. Ice cream. Oh. But I do think fried ice cream, if you've never had it, you got to try it once. It's very good. I need to try it. That, that's what I, that's my answer. Mm-hmm. Fried ice cream. I mean, I, I, I would like to start deep frying pickles more, but then you fucking buy them at the grocery store. The ones I'd make it probably dog shit. <laughs> it probably would. It's not easy. It's harder than you think. That is, I mean, that's that's my answer. I, I More deep fried pickles, like making them, making them in the regular rotation. Gotcha. Instead of just like once, once a quarter at a restaurant, <laughs> you know, because some of them have like four che- times a like year. objectively, though, like fried pickles are maybe right now in, in society, like the thing other than chicken that's <laughs> getting fried. Yeah. Like not, at, fries, not at home, though. It goes chicken, French fries, <laughs> fried pickles. I would say pickles are top five easily. Yeah. No way, dude. Not at home. <laughs> at restaurants yeah just moving the goalposts <laughs> i mean we'll move on anything we'll that i say on. well fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh j train asks i'd mu- like to deep fry this can of bush light that'd be cool that'd be- <laughs> how much should i actually how much should i actually spend on an engagement ring uh three three months three months of pain seems like a lot yeah, I think in today's world, that's gone out the window, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's probably more, isn't it? What? I feel like people are spending bags on rings these days. Oh, I feel the opposite. I really? feel like people aren't spending much on engagement rings anymore. Jared, I have no, you I have you no break idea. the tie. I have no idea, to be honest. I think that it's people were spending more on engagement rings back in the day. <laughs> no, like, I'm not doing this to argue with you. My question is what like what makes Google you think it? That? Hey, are people how much are people spending on rings? How much? I think it's I think it's really, you know, if you have if your fiance or future fiance, your girlfriend. <laughs> Your girlfriend like expects an expensive ring, then you probably got to buy an expect expensive ring. Then you have the other group of people who are like, if she expects an expensive ring, she's probably not the right one. You yeah, know? red flag. But I think as long as you two are on board with you know a price range or a vibe of what she expects, if she really does love you, she'll wear a ring from the little coin mm-hmm. spinner, or like a ring pop, yeah, or something. Mm-hmm. Couple spent on average about six grand on engagement ring in 2022. 
compared to some people, 1,000 to 4,000. It's all over the map. So just go with what you feel, you know. Well, here's an alternative, too. You could just get like a, you, I mean, you could get a really, really part-time job and then just three, like, use three months of that salary towards yeah, a ring. Yeah. So go. it's not near, yeah. it's not nearly as much, you know? That's a great idea. <laughs> I mean. Or you could go big, go Michael Scott, three years salary. <laughs> That's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> got to get insurance on that puppy, too. No matter how much you got, you got to get the insurance. God, I get the insurance. It's like 10 bucks a month or something. I don't know. You got to get the insurance. <laughs> um, Jack Shotgun. How to not give a shit about what people think when first starting out at the gym? Uh, if it, uh, It's a fine line. The tough one. But if you're if you are there, is he is he saying like he's overweight? I, it sounds like it's his first time Wait, back in the gym in a long time. Yeah, just starting out. Yeah. And what was the question? Uh, how to not give a shit about what people think at the gym? I'm gonna be honest. I don't think anyone's thinking about you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like I think that that's kind of how life is in general too. Is like you, you think people are paying attention to what you're doing, but I I, I would agree with that. And if even you, if I did have a judgment on Ryan at the gym, I'm forgetting about it 10 seconds later. Yeah. I mean, unless you're being just like, if, if you're, I don't know, fucking don't be curling in the squat rack, number one. I, think pro- <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, proper, I, I think. As long as you're doing the right etiquette. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Proper gym etiquette is important. Going like if I watch it. Ryan pick a wedgie at the gym, I'm going to think about it for three seconds and then I'm on to the next thing. I'm on to the next set. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Wipe your bench down when you're done. And if you're really worried about it, just like maybe ask questions to other people. Be like, what do you think of me? <laughs> yeah, it's, just get in front of it. Man. Just be like, "Hey, man, first time back in the gym. Like, what, what are you, what are you doing? What, are, what's your rep scheme looking like? I'm looking to bulk up because gym guys love giving advice, big time. So if you get in front of it, don't retroactive, retroactively get the advice. Don't do something wrong or get in the way." ask them then now you're on the same team mm-hmm. well and the gym's all about egos too so like stroke that's gonna, ego yeah that's gonna pump their ego up. just start the stroking the dudes in the gym their <laughs> egos stroke their egos they off. they love that i'm sure <laughs> go wipe, to the gym just start stroking yep and wipe off the bench when you're done yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you're done stroking Especially when you're done stroking yes egos stroking egos yeah let's get in front of it and to really get back to some things, you just find a gal working on a Smith's machine and just start giving her advice. <laughs> you could do that. That usually goes over good. <laughs> Girls love when you go up to them and give them unwanted advice at the gym. I always see that playing out well on TikTok. Uh, Great advice. Um, so we have uh, two two fun facts. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Fun. All right, I have like a, an anatomy one and a history one. So okay, I'm a exercise scientist. Ryan's a history buff. It works out good. Yep, it's cool. The amount of abs you can attain is purely determined by genetics. While six packs are the most common, some bodybuilders such as Schwarzenegger can only attain a four pack. This is due to humans being born with different amounts of I think it's fascia bands. The most you can have is a ten pack, which is rare. Oh Jesus. I think I might be one of those rare few that got a two pack or a one pack. I think I think my gut is kind of just one big fascia. <laughs> one big half. Yeah, just, just, just <laughs> slabbed over the top. He's just lacking in fascia bands when he's born. Yeah. It's not his fault. It's nobody's fault. It's just some it's call just it anatomy. shy abs. I call it lack of fascia bands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many do you think you got? You got six? Oh, yeah. Eight? No, God, no. Oh. I don't think I got all eight. I think I only got four. I think me and Schwarzenegger. You and Schwarzenegger. Great icebreaker here, Vito. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. you got lack of fascia bands as well. <laughs> but. Uh, how many do you think you got, Jared? 
doesn't even pay to think because like i'm never gonna reach that <laughs> you've never seen them no jared i mean number we can't just can't be thinking like that <laughs> I would have to lose like 60 pounds for me to see him. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, you just have to eat clean. That's the biggest thing. You just eat clean. Yeah. and then you, Abs are made in the kitchen. Yeah. And then you <laughs> also have to train your abs like you train any other body part. You know? Yeah. I just probably. A, yeah. Oh, we could help you out. So we should have some sort of trigger on the podcast that he's got to do 20 sit-ups. Okay. <laughs> no. Yeah, like, so and, like, like, how about like the, like the, like the V on in his chair? You yeah. scoot to the end of your well, chair. We, do, we, we mix it up, right? Like one podcast, you can do the leg flutters. There we go. Yep. Flutter kicks. <laughs> then you can do jackknifes, which is like maybe expert level. I could be okay. like a rare. It's like drinking game, but Jared doing abs. Yeah. <laughs> so like every time Tyler messes with his beard, <laughs> you have to do five sit-ups. Or if Ryan says something dumb. Yeah. yeah. Brian <laughs> gets squirrely, <laughs> jackknifes, set of 10. Well, the question is like, how fast do you want this six pack? I don't know. Because I mean, we're looking at like three or four episodes from now. <laughs> yeah, it's like. To determine fashion bands. How, yeah. <laughs> do like 200 jackknifes. And again, this is not so you get to look in shape. This is so we, it's purely scientific to know how many fashion bands you have on your stomach. <laughs> we are an experimental podcast, mm-hmm. too. Yeah. <laughs> well you're just learning more about yourself too you know educational it's part of it <laughs> um uh there that w- was a fun fact i did not know that the, i thought you would might know that but i, I did either. not know that that is new to me okay i didn't know a 10 pack was i wonder what they could see. yeah yeah I, I didn't know that was a thing mm-hmm. um this is the other one there were 26 26- Families of passengers on the Mayflower that are known to have left descendants. It is estimated that over 30 million people can trace their ancestry back to those 26 families on the Mayflower. So, wait, say it again. Holy. There were 26 families of passengers on the Mayflower that are known to have left descendants. It is estimated that over 30 million people can trace their ancestry back to those 26 families on That's the Mayflower. That's like almost 10% of the United States. Am I correct? Yeah, almost. I would say probably more like eight, but yeah. Eight percent of the United States yeah. are related to the ancestors of the Mayflower. Mm-hmm. So they were all just fucking each other. <laughs> they do be fucking. That's a lot of people. Yeah. It's like the side. Uh, yeah, I guess that's what. It's like two New York cities, I think. But it's it's 26 families. Mm hmm. So there could be, you know, let's say that there's four people a family, probably back then, maybe even more. Probably 12? More. Yeah. No, like eight per family, 26 times eight. Ten? Yeah, that's a lot. Do uh, you think you're related to them? Probably not. I don't think I am either. I can just <laughs> feel it in my bones. Yeah. You know, when you say Mayflower, I feel no connection. Yeah, yeah, I did the 23 Me too, and it didn't. It never showed up as like. Did you Mayflower? You did the 23 Me. What did yeah. you find out? What was like? Because you know, it's like, oh my god, I'm, I'm Scottish, German. <laughs> yeah. I'm German. That's. Uh, cool. But was there anything cool that you found out? Well, so I, I, I have more Native American in me than I thought I had. Really, two percent. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. So, I mean, I don't know if if like I don't know how that all, like how far down the line that would be, but I didn't think I had any. So that was, I mean, that was kind of interesting. Scots Irish, majority of it. Mm. That's Scottish and Irish mixed into <laughs> one, if you guys are wondering. So hey, he just knows his heritage. Yeah. <laughs> uh everything in between Scots Irish and the two percent Native American, I I can't remember. Yeah, it was probably English. German, probably. Probably. <laughs> German's a big one. I gotta do one of those. Yeah, it's kinda it's kind of they fun. tell you like any notable like they just give you a list like of relatives people you're or anything. To, <laughs> no, you know, like. <laughs> no, I think that one is uh no. Because don't those if like you had a distant relative do twenty three and me, it would like ping you and tell. I th- you I, I think it would. Yeah, that's probably the upcharge. Yeah, upcharge for sure. <laughs> we gotta get you on the upcharge. I know. I should. I should do it again just to see if anything's changed. Wouldn't that be <laughs> funny? Sure, they'd love to have you back. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if they did like a map? And it was like all your relatives and he like clicks on Fargo and it just like lights up red. <laughs> it's like a Ryan dating. Thank God he married Meg. If he had dated anyone else, it would have been incest. Uh, they got married before I moved to Fargo. <laughs> yeah. Just 
I may not be able to go into Hooters in the mall. Fargo just looks like a Christmas tree for you. It's lit up. He's like like playing Uh, Minesweeper trying to date in Fargo. Say, like, this can't be right. Uh, Yeah, no, I didn't run into any of that. <laughs> no, that happened. I should do it again though. Just uh, I probably still got the results somewhere. Yeah, I don't think you need to do it again. Let me check it out. See how distant up. can you be where you can still marry your cousin and the chances of having any incestual issues be not a thing? I have no idea. It was like second cousin. <laughs> No, because like you start going far enough out, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. But like, I wonder how many people are six cousins with me in Fargo. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. know. Can we look it up? Who Miles' sixth cousin is? No, like, like, <laughs> like. It would be nice if you guys got me a twenty-three and me. And Ancestry.com. I want to get them double checked. You want both? Yeah. yeah. You want a second opinion? I want a second opinion. <laughs> you thought you had more French in you? Than you? He's like 3% French. <laughs> Finds out. Well, that's the thing is like, you know, it's like my my dad's like, yeah, my my mom was 50% yeah, yeah. German. And it's like, they don't know. They're yeah. No, it, either. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I would actually like to know. Okay. Good to know. Oh. Actually, up. you know what? I'm gonna sucker my brother into buying it, because then we'll have the oh, same. Smart. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's a good. One. That is true. Um, no, how- it's a, it's actually that's a great Christmas gift for him. I give him that. Then I'm already. I was gonna do one for myself, so that I don't even actually have to give him a gift. And he does it, and I get all the answers. Right. He does all the work. And that'd be suck if he didn't play. share his results with me. I like, refused. <laughs> That would piss you off so much. Hey, Miles, you're not going to like this. <laughs> 1% uh, uh Google, how far out can you marry a relative before incest? <laughs> okay. this, is, this, is, I mean, this, is, this is for science purposes. Correct. This is not, he's not wondering. Quora. Quora says well, second cousin. <laughs> it's a very yeah. Quora response. In much of the Middle East, however, a first cousin marriage is seen as ideal. Well, Anything closer to first cousin is almost universally deemed incest. Marriage between first cousins is legal in only about half of American states. Hmm. That is disastrous if you even have third third cousin would cause no issues that's what it says Mm -hmm. third cousins have barely any more shared dna (laughs) than the general population (laughs) that this is all from quora i don't know that's that's gotta be (laughs) that is too close for comfort in my (laughs) opinion well yeah threading the needle yeah i mean playing russian roulette yeah You know, five times it's not going to be, but that one time. I like I like all these like Googles. Like, is it okay to marry my vi- very distant cousin? <laughs> and it's like, can I marry my long distance? <laughs> the, guy, the person googling that is like, my distant cousin is that so hot, and she's into me. Is there? Yeah, it would be fun one day just to just be on like because you can see Google Trends. Like just just spend a day just searching weird stuff and see how many people are actually searching weird stuff. That would be funny. Good research. <laughs> it's like more people are searching this than how to do their taxes. <laughs> yeah, you can just hire someone to do your tax. You can't hire someone to inbreed you. <laughs> well, you could, I guess. There's gotta be someone out there for that. All yeah, right. Yeah. Those yeah. were fun facts, Jared. Those were good. Sweet. I don't remember what the second fact was. Mayflower. Oh, Mayflower. Mayflower, 26 families. Mm-hmm. Probably not part of it, but. And probably growing, you know? Yeah. I yeah. gotta go sleep this daylight savings time off. <laughs> Ryan's it on fumes. Me up. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the You Bet Your Radio podcast. May your husbands and wives be not your cousins. <laughs> And may you get a reservation at Cold Cox. <laughs> Cheers, Ryan. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah.